All right, so let's get started with our DNS server. Now, our DNS server, we're actually going to break this up into two pieces. So two different functions that a DNS server will do. You will use a DNS server to uh, share zone information. You will also use the DNS server to forward lookups. And that's called a caching DNS server, and that's the one we're going to deal with right now. So basically, a caching DNS server, we're not going to do a configuration to host a DNS zone to do its own name resolution. What we'll do is we will function as a DH DNS server, get the right one here, as a DNS server, we will get requests from clients, we will forward it out to the internet, we will get a response, and then we'll cache that information so that if anyone else in our network wants to uh, get in get that same uh, DNS resolution information, we already have it for them. So that's what a caching DNS server DNS server does. Basically, you'd have everybody in your network go here. This one's the only one that goes to the internet. It simplifies life. All right, so um, let's take a look at our configure at our status here first. So get to the right window, and it's system CTL status, and this is going to be bind nine. Bind nine is the Berkeley Internet name uh, daemon. And bind 9 is a current version of it. And you'll notice, by the way, that we can't resolve anything. And that's fine because I've got this isolated because I don't want to screw with my uh, production network. So, uh, control C to get out of there. Now, this configuration, let's do this here. Let's do an ls-l, and we're going to find it in the etc uh, bind um, folder. And we're going to see a handful of things here. Name D is going to be our uh, name daemon. So you'll see we've got .conf, .conf .default zones, .conf .local, and .conf .options. Let's start with um, .conf. So nano forward slash etc forward slash bind forward slash name D dot .conf. All right, this actually, this is our primary configuration file, and there's really not much here, except that you'll notice these three lines down here, which basically say include everything. So include the .conf.options, .local, and .default zones. This is also where we're going to add other zone files in as well. We'll get back to that in another video. But the one that we want to look at first is going to be this one, conf.options. Basically, that includes says this configuration is going to be broken up into multiple files. Just put them all together. So we're going to exit out of here, and we're going to nano etc bind name d.conf.options. We're going to try this again and name D dot CONF dot options. Hey, there we go. All right. So this is our configuration. Now, everything that has these little double hashes right here, or double hashes, double slashes, that's going to be commented out. So I want to get rid of those comments because I want to enable the forwarders. And I'm going to set two forwarders here. I'm going to use Google's because I'm going to be lazy. And then I also want to add 8.8.4.4. .4, and then I have to semicolon each of those lines. OK, so that sets my forwarders. And now that I've removed those comments, that's actually valid information. If you scroll down through here, you're going to see a little bit more, not a whole lot more. Um, but you will see a little bit more information. OK, let me go ahead and save this. Control-O to write out, and then Control-X to exit. Now, I need to restart my DNS server in order for this to take effect. And so that's going to be systemctl restart bind 9. And every time we make a change to the DNS server, we need to restart it in order for it to reload that configuration. I should now be able to check the status of bind, and sure enough, we are still up and running. So life is good. We haven't blown anything up yet. 
Now at this point, uh, our caching name server should be fully operational. Now remember, I can't test this because I have this isolated, but at this point we should be fully operational. Now just like with DHCP, you can look at the tail of the log and it's the same thing. Um, it's the var log uh, syslog file. Uh, you can look at the tail of that log and see information about DNS as it is operating. So you can kind of track some of that information using that um, tail of the log little trick. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to set up a forward lookup zone. Remember, at this point, all we're doing is caching. Next step is forward lookup zone. But we're going to do that in another video.